deserve real information and responsible and thoughtful dialogue from their elected leaders and from the media. Uh, the media has been some very honest, but some very dishonest. You know that. You know that. I mean, I even read a story where Mark Meadows was a tough guy. He was crying. He was crying. This was a Maggie Haberman. You know, she won a Pulitzer Prize for her coverage of Russia, but she was wrong in Russia. So was everyone else. They should all give back their Pulitzer Prizes. In fact, it turned out that the crime was committed by the other side. The crime was not committed by this side. It was committed by the other side, a bunch of bad people. You saw the reports coming out over the last two weeks. They got caught. So Maggie Haberman gets a Pulitzer Prize. She's a third-rate reporter, New York Times. And we put her name up here last week. You saw that. People thought it was a commercial. It wasn't a commercial. It's like a commercial, but it wasn't a commercial. It was just clips. And because we exposed her as being a bad reporter, what happened is she came out and said, Mark Meadows was crying, and they made it sound. I said, Mark, and it's okay if he did. I wouldn't, you know, look. But I think he was crying probably uh, really for the wrong reason they had it down. But he's not a crier. And if he was, I've known cries. I could tell you people that you know that are very famous, they cry. And that's okay, too. But it was a nasty story in so many ways. It was fake news. And she only did it because we exposed her for being a terrible, dishonest reporter. She is. I've known her for a long while. I haven't spoken to her a long time. I made the mistake. I take a picture with her at the desk a long time ago. Every time she does a story, if I say, I haven't spoken to her in long, many, many, many months, maybe years. I don't speak to her. She's fake. A lot of people are fake. A lot of people. We get a lot of fake people. But what happens is she writes this story as retribution, puts it in the New York Times. And the New York Times is a very dishonest newspaper. It's my opinion. It's not an opinion. It's actually from my standpoint. You know, the, the very hard thing to figure, though, most people wouldn't know that, but I know because I know the facts. And they make up, I, I said it today, they make up words. Uh, sources say, most often used, sources say. You know what sources say means? Sources say means they have nobody. And they make it up. Okay? And they have a few other type statements that mean the same thing. But sources say is the most often used expression in the Washington Post, New York Times especially, CNN, fake news, CNN. They should really be mandated and I mean mandated to use a name. If there's a source, use a name. Say that Kaylee, Kaylee McEnany said, or somebody, and you'd find out that the, uh, number one, the source wouldn't say it. The sources don't exist. I don't believe the sources exist. And I try and tell this, you know, the beautiful thing about doing these conferences is that we have tremendous numbers of viewers, and I'm able to reach the viewers without having to go through fake news, where they make a good story into a bad story. So uh, with all of that, it's been an incredible period of time. We've done a fantastic job with the talk of other nations. The leaders of other nations are calling us for help. They're calling us for equipment. They're calling